crisis of 2007, 8, and 9 was the most severe and serious since the Great Depression in the 1930s. The causes of the crisis were complex, interrelated, and interdependent. Excessive risk-taking, conflicts of interest, lack of knowledge, and simple greed were all at play. How has the crisis changed the rules of the game for business? Now, game changers are factors which now have a significant impact on how things will be done in the future. Governments and regulators are now much more interventionist and shareholders and stakeholders are demanding greater accountability and transparency of corporate managers and corporate directors. The four game changers that I'll focus on are in relation to one, executive compensation, two, knowledge and risk management, three, sustainability and stakeholders, and four, diversity and groupthink. The first game changer is that governments, regulators, and shareholders are pointing an intense spotlight on executive compensation. Do you remember when the CEOs of GM, Ford, and Chrysler flew their fancy corporate jets to Washington, D.C. to ask for public bailout funds? There's two main concerns with executive compensation after the crisis. Pay that is not tied to performance and pay that creates the wrong incentives, such as risky short-term behavior. In light of these concerns, we're seeing that regulators are advancing the concept of say on pay, giving shareholders the right to vote on executive compensation. I think we'll also see regulators and others push for greater disclosure of pay for performance metrics and fully independent compensation committees. Corporations would be well advised to implement compensation metrics that are adjusted for risk and also that take into account non-financial measures that go beyond share price, revenue and profits. The second game changer is that the financial crisis has demanded that corporations renew their focus on knowledge and risk management. Before the crisis, many senior executives, CEOs and directors simply did not understand the complex financial products that their firms were dealing with and also didn't appreciate the aggregate risk their company and the economy was exposed to. The financial crisis has underscored that corporations must place a high priority on risk management and on implementing risk management control systems throughout their organizations from operations all the way to the board level. The third game changer is that regulators, courts and the public are pushing corporations to focus on sustainability and stakeholders. Companies have historically focused on shareholders and profit maximization. Many shareholders have short-term interests and can easily exit, unlike some stakeholders, such as employees and the local community, who often have longer vested interests in the corporation. There is a push now from many quarters for corporations to make decisions based on sustainable value maximization and think about all of the stakeholders and their interests, not just shareholders when making decisions. BP is a case study in poor risk management and an illustration of the dangers of short-term decision-making. Moving forward, I believe that courts will impose greater obligations on corporations to consider the interests of stakeholders. I also think that regulators will emphasize disclosure of non-financial risks that are material. Corporations, therefore, really need to think about governing these non-financial risks at all levels, including at the board level, and, for example, by ensuring that compensation metrics for senior executives include performance on stakeholder relations and sustainability. The final game changer is a push from regulators and the public for better nominations and greater diversity on corporate boards. The boards and senior ranks of many large public companies look rather homogeneous. <laughs> a lack of diversity can lead to groupthink, a dangerous thing. 
Let me ask you this question. What if Lehman Brothers had been Lehman Sisters? Would a broader range of perspectives and backgrounds have resulted in better decisions and outcomes? Does diversity lead to a better understanding of the marketplace as the market itself has become more diverse? Does it increase creativity and innovation? Regulators around the world are responding. Norway has mandated that 40% of public company boards be comprised of women. The United States Securities and Exchange Commission now requires that the nominating committee of the board describe the process for identifying and evaluating nominees, including diversity factors. So whether it's a mandatory rule or a softer approach requiring disclosure of nomination practices, there's an invigorated focus on diversifying the board and the senior executive ranks. To recap, after the financial crisis, the four game changers for the corporation are in relation to executive compensation, risk management, sustainability in stakeholders, and diversity in groupthink. And these are not necessarily a great burden, but a new mindset to which businesses must adapt. Thank you.